With economic growth still unable to drive employment and the working age population shrinking, concerns are being raised over a possible slowdown in the growth of employment despite the recent economic gains. Accordingly, KDI analyzed the employment growth by industry in relation to labor supply and demand and forecast the growth for 2018. The employment growth by industry was examined through a decomposition of the changes in the employment rate for labor demand and changes in the population and population proportions for labor supply. In terms of labor supply, an analysis was conducted on how demographic changes affect the employment growth of main industries. The results revealed that the increasing number of over 15s and ensuing demographic changes have served to boost employment across all industries. At the same time, the changes in population proportions due to aging have weakened the employment growth in manufacturing and services, while little impact was found in construction thanks to the higher employment rate of the over 50s. An analysis was also conducted to examine how employment growth varies in line with the demand for labor in different industries. It was found that when demographic changes are removed, the employment rate in services and construction began to decline from the first quarter of 2017, while that in manufacturing swung to an increase. A further empirical analysis on the relationship between employment growth by industry and the components of aggregate demand revealed that the employment in services is sensitive to private consumption, while manufacturing responds to facilities investment and construction to facilities and construction investments. This implies that the increase in labor demand on improvements in private consumption will have the largest impact on employment growth in the short term. Finally, the analysis results were used to examine the employment growth for 2018. In terms of labor supply, it is expected that there will be an overall decline in employment growth resulting from the demographic changes. However, in the services industry, the downward trajectory will halt temporarily and there will be a slight increase. This is owed to the rapid rise in the share of those aged between 55 and 64 whose employment rate is relatively high among the senior population. This will offset the decline in employment growth deriving from a diminishing youth population. As for labor demand, although employment is expected to increase in the service industry due to improvements in private consumption, Employment growth will fall from 170,000 to 130,000 on weakening investment. Here, if the 20 to 30,000 increase resulting from the job creation policy in the 2018 budget bill is reflected, employment growth is expected to marginally decline from a low 300,000 in 2017 to around 300,000 in 2018. 민간 소비에 긍정적인 영향을 미칠 수 있는 소득 확대 정책 등은 서비스업의 노동 수요를 확대할 것으로 예상되므로 내년에 투자 둔화에 따른 취업자 증가 폭 축소를 상쇄하는 데 도움이 될 것이라고 생각합니다. 장기적으로는 노동 공급을 확대하기 위한 정책적 노력을 지속하는 가운데 기업의 혁신 활동을 지원하는 등 새로운 노동 수요가 지속적으로 창출될 수 있도록 지원할 필요가 있습니다. 청년 및 여성층의 노동시장 참여를 확대하고 출산율을 제고하는 등의 노력은 인구구조 변화에 따라서 나타나게 될 고용 부진을 일부 완화하는 데 도움이 될 것으로 기대가 되고요. 혁신적인 기업의 원활한 진입을 위해 장애 요인을 제거하는 동시에 임금 체계 유연성 제고 및 고용 안전망 확충 등을 통해 혁신 기업이 새로운 노동 수요를 창출할 수 있는 환경을 제공할 필요가 있습니다.